four. And this clash between Nepal versus Lebanon live on this lovely clear evening. We can see here both teams in the tunnel, accompanied by our match officials today. Our referee is into coming out the tunnel now. Plenty of smiles. Uh, solidarity and goodwill is always shown in these matches before, beforehand with the smiles, especially all the effort that's been put into the making of these games. As you can see, Nepal in red and Lebanon is in all white today. And this is the semi-final of the 8th Women's Championship for the 8th West Asian Football Federation. The And what a what a pleasant team to watch. Lebanon lost their one game so far. They lost to Jordan, who are also the five-time tournament winners. And they've won all three games. And as we see here today, we're at uh, Amila Subha, who's the goalkeeper, who's also the captain for Nepal today. And she's going to be leading Nepal. Flip of the coin. They've already exchanged flags, and our match official today is Ahmed Saad, Nawaf Tayeb, Talasi Salman, Kulud as the force official. And as we can see here today, Lebanon will be, will be speared by Natalie Matar, who we saw earlier just now, exchanging the flags. And goalkeeper Lamita. It's going to be interesting to see how the game plays out today. And there's Rajenda Tamang, the head coach for Nepal, and head coach Wail Gazidin. Both looking pretty tense today. Today's match is is a big one for, for both teams today. Uh, with Nepal with Nepal being the favourites to win this game tonight, especially after their last performance uh, against Palestine, which they managed to score four and didn't concede any goals. And Lebanon losing, as mentioned earlier. They just lost to Jordan, who are five-time winners. This is going to be an interesting game indeed. Quick check of the watch. And a referee, Saad Ahmed. The blow of the whistle indicating the game is now underway. And Lebanon wasted no time on an early quick fire attack. Lebanon versus Nepal, nil nil. We've got our first. Substitute coming on of the game, and Anita Baznitz coming off and is being replaced by Bimala Chowdhury. Oh. 
37 minutes into the first half. We've got our first substitute. Quick ball finding Samira. And it has resulted in the first own goal. The first goal for Lebanon. Scored by Pooja Rana. <sighs> Unbelievable. Again, I, I think the... The issue here is the Nepalese team are not really communicating. They're not communicating, communicating as well as what they normally do. It's, they're not playing the normal um, confident, competent football that they've been playing in the last three games. And that's just resulted in a, a, a massive, massive, you know, fatal... Um, Mistake there by Pooja. Yeah, she should, should have shouted out to the keeper before she passed it on. Yeah, as you expect, I mean, with this being the semi-final, there's a lot of tension. It's very tense and a lot of nerves going. Nepal really need to do something now. Jill. And here we go, it's another attack. Is it? No. It's, and it's in. I cannot believe it. So Brita Bandari manages to get the first goal for Nepal. Simple mistake by Amina Kareem. Simple mistake. She's really beating herself up over this one. This is not the kind of game that we've been expecting to see. This is, this is totally opposite to what we were expecting today here at the semi-finals you can see the look Amina Kareem absolutely gutted she turned she she was there she didn't know what she, it, it was almost as if she didn't know which direction to kick the ball and then Sabrita Bandari just came stole it from her one-on-one -on -one with the keeper here keeper stops it Amina there and she just comes around and right with that right foot just hooks it back into the goal there you can see here she just comes in slides in and Sabrita Bandari finally gets that goal she's been after but this time she's using the right the right foot instead of her left foot because it <laughs> this has been some game there's some game to be commentating on today as well unexpected 76 minutes into the second half, Lebanon 1, Nepal 1. And Nepal high on energy now. And we can see there, Bumala Chaudhry. Just... Nepal re and Rishimi protesting there against that little shoved she's pushed out corner kick for Nepal this could be it last minute of the second half corner kick in comes a kick What a goal! Nepal finally! Dipa Shahi! And that comes, that then seals the deal and puts an end to the Lebanon's side at the WAFF tournament today. Nepal will be facing Jordan in the finals. Last minute. What a goal there! Great performance. What a goal. I can't see I can't see Lebanon coming back after that one. Lebanon have definitely not been the best uh, team on the pitch today and Nepal just too much miscommunication. What a stormer there. Great goal by Pretty Rai. She just stood back 
and rocketed it straight to the back of the net. What a goal. Samira with the cross. Last attack. And Layla's holding a face. I think there was a bit of a clash there with uh, Bimala Chowdhury. Yeah. Here Awad. Samir normally goes for the top left corner. At this point. Yep. And I think the referee has blown the final whistle there at the Prince Abdullah Al Faisal Sports City Stadium in Jeddah, indicating that's the end of the match today. And Nepal advance to the finals against Jordan in two days on the 29th. Make sure you're there to watch this clash between Nepal and Jordan that's certainly going to be one game to be you know it's going to be the final the match final that's definitely one game to not miss uh, the, so the final score is Nepal 2 and Lebanon 1 it's Robert Welsh here with you hope you've enjoyed the match this evening Stay Captain Savitra, congratulations. Thank you so much. You did great effort, you and your, all your team. Tell me, tell me about uh, today's game. Uh, first of all, first up, we, we can adjust this field because of the, the field is uh, too uh, weight. And uh, we don't, uh, we, uh, we don't uh, control the ball as well what we want. So first up, uh, we, f we feel a little difficult. And the second up, uh, we did 100% and then we got the result. Next game is the final against Jordan. How are you going to prepare for it? Uh, of course, uh, they are really, really, really good team for this tournament. So we'll, uh, we'll fight for the title and we'll respect uh, the opponent. Thank you, Captain Sabitra. Congratulations. Brett Ray, congratulations. You did it. You did the goal. You reached the final. Tell me about, m more about today again. Yeah, during the first half, it was really uncomfortable for us because we were really new to the ground and <clears throat> and we couldn't play the first half our own game. But um, during the second half, <clears throat> we got comfortable with the field and the ball and the stadium. So it was easy for us to keep the ball <clears throat> and keep our momentum. And yeah, 
we reached the final and I scored the ball, goal, but I also won to win the final. Uh, until I don't win the final, it's not enough. So, but the, score, the goal I scored today, I want to dedicate this goal to Navina Ma'am. She, <laughs> she has really helped me during my hard times and during my injury. Apart, uh, uh, with, aside from, from my family, she was the only one that helped me through my hardships and all my you know mental hardships. So I really want to dedicate this goal to Navina Ma'am. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you expect that she gonna score the good, the goal yes, at this moment? I always, yes, I do always expect a very good about Priti Rai, and I have seen her future very bright. And I'm really proud that she has come back more stronger than before, even after injury. And I'm really proud of my Priti Rai and all the entire team. And also thank you Saudi Arabia for inviting us and letting us to play in this WAF Championship. Thank you so much. Thank you and good luck in the final. Thank you. 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 Thank